Hi there and welcome back to Antiques Trade Secrets. Um, I've been asked to make a video about how to recognise the difference between antique brass, antique copper and antique bronze. Um, obviously that's easy if you're an antique centre and it's labelled up and labelled correctly, but often you might be out in a flea market, a car boot, and you're trying to work out what is this object made of, what's the likely metal that it's cast from. Here's a simple way to, to do that. So I've got a couple of items firstly over here that are brass. Brass is normally the easiest material to recognise because even when it's fairly worn and dark as this pot is, if you give it a rub or if you can find a, a brighter area, it has a gold finish. Brass is the only of the three metals that literally has that gold bright finish. Think of a door handle in your home. Here's a modern piece of uh, brass, a modern um, magnifying glass, and you can clearly see the gold finish there. Here's a Middle Eastern, uh, possibly Indian actually, uh, pot, about the turn of the uh, 19th, 20th century. And here, where it's warm, you can clearly see again that gold finish coming through. And the dull look here is very particular to brass, and you can recognise that after a while. Moving on to copper. Copper, when you see it side by side with brass, is very different. Here's a piece of hand-beaten arts and crafts copper. It's far more uh, mellower in tone, slightly uh, browner, almost more autumnal, and has a far more um, a sort of duller but warmer tone to it. And if we put the two here together, the brass and the copper, there's a completely different colour, and it's quite easy to recognise it when you see them like with like. Bronze, of course, is a very valuable metal, and here is an original French bronze nude um, and when you look at her again, the colour of bronze is very different to both the others. It has a far more uh, duller tone, in fact. And when you look closely, particularly at the base here, with most real bronzes, you can clearly see where it's been cast. Because it's such a, a heavy, dense metal, the casting using the, uh, the wax process that many um, sculptors use leaves those gaps, leaves those telltale bubbles. Okay. And then finally, I thought I'd include this for fun, really. This is a new piece I've just picked up. It's a Hindu god representation. Even though there's lots of hand painting, lots of patina added, you can still clearly see, if I bring my magnifying glass back over, that it's brass. You know, this couldn't be copper. It couldn't be bronze, even though we'd love it to be bronze. When you look at it light with light, it has that golden shine there on the face and other areas. It's definitely a brass um, effigy. Okay, so there is a, a beginning's guide to, to looking at those sort of colours. It's about the colour, it's about the tone, and it's looking at it really, really closely. Uh, there'll be another video linked below for the differences between sterling silver and silver plate. Uh, again, using colour when there aren't marks. Do please subscribe, and see you soon. Bye for now.